Hey everybody, welcome to another Radio Free Neo Terra. And I'm here with Adam from Greenleaf Terrain. Um, if you've ever seen any of the terrain from Mini Wargaming, um, that's all painted by this guy. So check him out. If you want some terrain made, this dude is the guy. He's the guy that does the stuff and makes terrain. He's also building out Studio C right now, Mini Wargaming. How's it coming? Good. I also built the terrain too, I didn't just paint it. I, I know. <laughs> I know you did. You did it all. And it's all original, it's not prefab, right? Yeah, custom. We, you don't do prefab terrain. Prefab terrain's for suckers, unless you're me, and I do only prefab terrain. Prefab talent. Because I'm, pre I'm prefab ash, prefab talent, that's right. So this is the level of shit talking you can expect <laughs> in one of my battle reports with Adam. <laughs> it's gonna come hot and thick. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, we're gonna play a game. It was Adam's birthday yesterday. That's gross. Yeah. That's right. It's, <laughs> you're the one making the metal images. So yeah. So we're gonna play another uh, 300 point game of Infinity. We're gonna do some Annihilation. This is uh, Adam's first N3 game. He hasn't played an N3 game yet. So we're gonna keep it simple with Annihilation, which is conserve as many points of your guys as you can while killing as many points of your opponents as you possibly can. And we'll have some classified objectives as well. Um, and yeah, we're gonna throw down. He's brought his Nomads in. Uh, if you've not seen them before, they're super cool. You can check out, I did a gallery shoot of them actually on my uh, Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash the basement of the streets. Um, and I'm gonna play with my Ariadnans because I got some new stuff painted. I got my Spetsnazes done and a couple other guys. So let's take a look at the armies, the table setup, and get started. All right, so here's Adam's Nomads. He's got like 290 something points. Uh, it looks like we got a, is that the lizard? The iguana. The iguana, that's right. Is it the iguana? Yeah, it's the iguana. It's the geckos that are little ones. And then we got a Zondabot. And this is a River Moira. That's a Tiskalong. Tiskalong, that's right. Like that Tiskalong with a Fearbok. Fearbok. And then we got a Hacker right there. Is that the Interventor? Interventor, yeah. The old Interventor Hacker, yeah. yeah. We got a Hellcat with an HMG, it looks like. Yeah. You're the only one that gets to keep your HMGs. Everybody else lost their HMGs. My Kallus HMG's gone. Oh, really? The Rajik uh, HMG's gone. Like, everybody that could have a AD HMG has, like, lost their AD HMG for whatever uh, reason. Oh, that Intruder has an HMG, too. Well, that's pretty <laughs> awesome. So, Intruder HMG, you got a zero right there with a combi, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, and then, last but not least, we've got Moriarty and what's her name? Carlotta. Carlotta. So, there it is. 300 points of Nomads for Annihilation. Here's my Kazakhs. Uh, so, we've got... Vet Kazak HMG, Vet Kazak with an AP rifle who's a paramedic. We got two tank hunters, AP HMG, and a adhesive launcher. Then we have Usher McNeil with a boarding shotgun. Uh, we have a dozer with the acrylic cannon and the big adhesive long range missile launcher. Uh, we got a pair of scouts, one with an AP snipe, one with an e mauler, and a Ohotnik. Then we've got a line Kazak and a dog face. Another combat group, we have two line Kazaks, just regular line Kazaks. So there it is, a grand total of 300 points exactly. Didn't use my Spetsnaz this time, probably use them next time. 300 points of area now. All right, so here is our <laughs> 4x4 table set up for Annihilation. Um, so this is actually my 4x4 table of Infinity Scenery, and I brought it in the office so that Adam and I could play a game. Um, I got some Bandua uh, buildings, some Shark Mile Laser stuff, uh, these awesome Piazza Productions containers that actually have my channel logo on them. They're pretty cool. Uh, lots of scatter. Actually, Adam, I think, made these trees. Yeah. These are studio trees. So thanks, Adam, for the trees uh, that we're using, borrowing from the studio to give a little bit of color to the table. Uh, and then huge thanks uh, to Frontline Gaming, because they sent me this mat for my channel um, to play Infinity on. And it is really cool. This is one of the table war mats from Frontline Gaming. Yeah, it's definitely cool. Yeah, well, I like it's got so much color on it. Um, I have some of the other ones. I have the... Uh, Micro Art Studio one. I want to try and get the other Micro Art Studio ones too. But I really like this one because it's uh, the complements my uh, my buildings really well. It also uh, complements Coom uh, Bike Army. Yes, it does complement a Coom Bike Army, which <laughs> you now want to do to have rolling around the uh, the uh, the what's call it, the streets. So yeah, we're gonna play a 300 point game, Annihilation. Uh, we'll do a lieutenant roll off right now with our willpower to see who's gonna be picking first player and who's picking who's deploying first. I, I, don't know I what fail. Is. Uh, well, definitely not more than two. But so. I win. You can choose. You can either choose uh, deployment zones and who sets up first, or you can choose the order that we plan. So who goes first? Which one do you want to do? Who goes first? You choose who goes first. Okay. So I will pick deployment zones, and I'll also get to pick who goes first. I'm going to pick to deploy, probably over on this side over here. I kind of like this side actually, um, and uh, yeah and I'll make you deploy first. So you can deploy all but your reserve mini on your side, okay. and we'll be back after deployment. Right, so here's my deployment. We've got camo token, camo token. We've got a um, Kazakh guarding my rear, another Kazakh guarding the rear, uh, Kazakh up here, a paramedic. We've got the HMG vet Kazakh, the dozer, and we've got vet Kazakh paramedic, a camo token, and the dog face. There's also a camo token up here as well, and a camo token on the lip of this building. 
Um, Adam's got a camera token up in this building. His Zond, Interventor. Uh, there's a camera token over here. No the iguana Lizard. Um, what's your name? Tika Bang? Tika something? Uh, Kusaragi. Kusaragi. Cassandra. Cassandra. And then uh, Moriarty and his engineer hanging out in the back. So uh, you get to choose who goes first. So who's going first? You can. I'm going first. Are you going to strip two of my orders? Yeah, let me do that thing. All right, so drop one of those red command points, and I will be down two more orders. All right, so we are going to use L uh, Dogface's Impetuous Order, because I have to. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can see him with that camo token. And he is going to move. I'm a, so I'm a regular guy for sure, yeah? Yeah. But I'm okay. He's going to idle. Okay, so I'm going to move two and four up to here with my first short skill. So I'll be there. Any arrow? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't think that can see me over there, no. that token yet. Um, and this one definitely can on the lip of this building. Yeah, that's okay. So you're just going to idle? Yeah. Okay, second short skill, move four more inches. And he'll move up to here. That's been a regular order. Uh, and we are going to get Mr. APHMG here uh, to fire over that drone. Can you do put the thing down for me behind him just so I can see if I can see him? And it looks like, yes, I can not. No, I don't think I can. I think there's too much of that bridge in the way. Uh, well, I'm idle. I'm, I'm going to discover shoot. You can decide if you want to do anything right now or you can idle. Oh. You can just hope that your camera protects you. You're I'm minus nine because you're at 33 inches. Yeah, I'm just going to stay. Yeah, okay. So we'll power on my vet Kazakh. I think it's 14. Minus three for range, minus three for cover, and minus three for being a camel marker. I need to roll a five or less. My power is 14. 13 is going to fail. All right, well, this uh, camo token right here is going to spend an order and idle as its first skill. Would you like to do anything with your iguana? Who can both see me? And I think the uh, yeah the Chiquita can as well over there. All right, so these guys are going to dodge an ARO. Um, so I will declare my second short skill, which is to surprise shot you with my APHMG on my tank hunter. Who are you shooting? Uh, I'm going to split my shots. I'm going to put one onto her and three on the head. So it's gonna be a seven to dodge for the tag. The surprise shot, 18, that'll fail. And he's a tag, so he's minus six as well. Um, I am at plus uh, three for my range because you're not touching any cover. And I'm over 16. Um, so now I need to roll a, because he's a tank hunter, 15 or less. That's gonna be three hits with AP rounds. So what is your armor? Armor six gets halved down to three. You'll need to beat 12s three times. All right, you take three structure and damage. All right, so the escape system, he's gonna be unconscious uh, in a smoke cloud left behind by the tag. All right, so I'm gonna flip another order and we are going to I think I use super jump on the dog face and he's going to jump four inches up to the top of this, like so. Is his first short skill? I'm gonna blast him. You know, blast him with your zero? Yeah. All right. Uh, so you will be blasting me. I will shoot you back. I think probably your remote can see me as well. Yeah, he's going to blast you too. Okay, can she see me? Uh, I don't know. I need one of those things. Yeah. Look, you put that behind her, and then I'll look at my side and see if I can see it. Oh, yeah, for sure. She can totally see. Okay. Okay, so he will fire his chain rifles at your zero. Okay. So we are going to be all kinds of getting shot up. Um, so you're going to get three all your normal rolls against me because I'm shooting somebody else with a template, so I can't uh, go face to face. Let's so do the Reverend first. Um, it looks like she's over 16. You want to double check the range because I think if she is, she's then... Yeah, you're within 24 though. So you're at zero mods. I'm always in the open because I'm crazy, frenzy, impetuous. Uh, and that gives you plus three to whatever your BS is. I have to actually, it's not until the end of the order that I'm going to transform. So I have to take the rest of these shots on my same armor as him. And any wounds will carry over. So go ahead and hit me with your zero. You're within eight for sure. So you're at plus three. So I think you're at 12, maybe a 13. Sorry. It's okay. 11. Okay, 11. So plus three is 14. Not active turn, so no surprise shot bonus. That's going to hit me. Um, so again, I have to beat a 12. 14, I do. So he shrugs that one. Uh, and now you've got uh, your remote. 15 or less, because it's plus three, the Spitfire. Uh, it'll hit, and I gotta beat a 13, because that's damage 14. 16 is gonna shrug that one too. So now uh, you will get double chain rifled, so ba blam, ba blam. So what's your armor? Uh, zero. Zero, okay, well, plus three, because you're in cover at least. Mm -hmm. um, so you're gonna get uh, damage 13 twice, so damage 10. Okay. Uh, Cam, it's just a template. It's just gonna hit you because you revealed yourself. Yeah, whatever, bud. 
<laughs> there's no there's no rolling to hit. I'm flame throwing you with chain rifles. So two damage rolls. Um, you're at plus three armor because of the cover, so you have to beat tens twice. You're flame throwing me with chain rifles. Well, chain rifles are basically direct damage. Targets. I'm pretty sure they're a whole bunch of little bullets. They are little. <laughs> okay, I'm making that wall disappear. So what's happening right now? Whatever, my guy has a beat helmet. tens. My guy has a helmet on. He does have a helmet on. Nope, he'll take two wounds. He's gonna go past unconscious, straight to dead. His helmet didn't help turns, him! I <laughs> know, poor white helmet. Turns into a werewolf. Alright, so we're gonna do another order on the werewolf, and he's just going to probably eat it again from both these guys. And we're shooting him again. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it as a long skill and jump 10 inches down behind this thing. So that'll be six and four. I'll definitely make it down to that corner. Blam! But you'll shoot me on the way over as I super jump over there. Should be closer. Uh, yeah, so you can shoot me at any point. So obviously, yeah, you can shoot me the, the closest 16 inch point for her. Uh, Spitfire doesn't care though, he'll just shoot me on the way down. Yeah. So, many big shots. Alright, so 17 or less for the Moira. She gets it, no crit though, and he gets it too. Um, so, the first one is a Spit, sorry, the first one's a, uh, a double action, whatchamacallit, a double action right. multi rifle. So, I have to make two armor rolls, beating a, whoops, beating a 10, because I'm armor 3. I fail them both and I'm dead. <laughs> well, I'm unconscious. Let's see if the Spitfire kills me. I have to beat an 11 here. Yeah, I do, so I'm unconscious on the ground. So there he is, behind the wall, unconscious. His Ramboing is over. And that's all my orders for turn one. So we go on to turn one uh, with the Nomads. We're six orders in a lieutenant order now with three CPs for the Nomads. Where's the first order going? So uh, is Shoeing the support wear, he's gonna just jump in his Hellcat with the HMG. Shoeing the support wear? How about it. shoeing the advice from the guy who made me lose my tank? <laughs> oh yeah, 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 you are. I told you to use him as a reserve man. Like, you were like, you. I was all like, why don't you use him as a reserve mini? And you were all like, I don't care about reserve minis. Yeah, and I was all like, like okay. Yeah. Are you sure? sure? <laughs> yeah, that's right, because it totally didn't happen. Yeah, that didn't happen. All right, so physical on that guy? Uh, 20. 20, are you sure? 12. That's a number? Okay. So 12 or less? Could have been a 15. 18, he's going to fail. Yes, um, that's what so I So roll, roll what direction he's going. So we no, put this towards the center of the table. An 18 is not less than 12. But I'm just saying, he goes towards the 8. No, no, not anymore. You yeah. actually have a new template, yeah. So this goes towards the middle, uh -huh. and then you roll a dice, and he goes 16 inches automatically. So he's going to go to the 20, 16 inches, so... Nice, he's flying. He's, he is flying. So he's going to land, whoops, that way. on the ground floor over there, like right by that thing. Hello, gentlemen. Hi everybody, I have a machine gun. Ho ho ho. Okay, so Hellcat shows up in front of these guys and I will arrow shoot and I will arrow shoot and that'll be it. So the HMG and the Vet Kazak are both gonna fire. So I need to make one roll here on a 12 or less with the AP HMG. Let's see if he gets it. Three, it's gonna take a hit. So you take a hit at 15 with half your armor. Uh, his armor's two. one, two, so one. So four will fail, so he's gonna go unconscious. Yeah, he's down. Uh, and then we've got the Vet Kazak. He's in good range because we know he's within 16 because he's closer than the other guy is. So he'll be on a uh, 16 or less. Five, he's going to hit you two. So this is against 13, again AP. 17, you're going to beat it. So you shrug that and you go unconscious. Check so we to do doctor thing. We're going to walk over and doctor him. Yeah. All right. Does anyone have an ARO? I don't think so. Nope. Do Can't see yeah. you. Can't see you. So no arrow is possible. So what's your willpower? 14. 14 or less, six, he gets a wound back. He rejoins your order pool, so you now have a heavy infantry HMG. Now what's next? Hey, Flip another one. Go Crawl up the wall. What? All right, so as he moves out in the open, I'll be able to gain line of sight with you and nobody else, because these guys can't see Jack. <clears throat> so yeah, no, just this AP HMG over here. Oh, yeah. As you move up, I'm so blast you. that was your first short skill. Well, I, I'm going to declare I'm going to shoot, I guess, and you're going to shoot two. Revenge! So I get one shot. 24. 24. You're going to get four because you have an HMG, yeah? Yeah. So you'll be at plus three, um, but then minus six for my camo and my cover. So you'll be rounding out at a minus three. I'll be at plus three for range, minus three for cover, so just straight roll. Four at nine from the Iguana Pilot. Oh dear, I get hit three times. Okay, I get one at 12 if I fail this. Stupid thing. I know, if I fail this. <laughs> no, I need to know, oh. I need to see those. That's okay, you cancel everything seven, except for the two. Zero. Yeah, it's the two ones get canceled and then you get hit me twice. So I am armor three for a tank hunter, plus three because I'm in cover against uh, a 15, so I have to beat nine twice. I'm gonna go unconscious. I you do, did. 19 and 20. Right, so flip another order, the uh, 
pilot to get another shot. So same thing, four shots on nines. I'll get one back with 12. So it hits me three times. I will get a 16 and fail. So I take three hits now. Three hits, I have to beat nines. I am unconscious and dead. Take three wounds. That was my favorite robot suit. <laughs> he gets killed. All right, so flipping it over now in the cyclone, it's gonna move up, maintaining contact with the wall for cover. All right, so there it is, uh, and it can see everybody. So the dozer's gonna dodge, the vet Kazak HMG is gonna fire, and I don't think it can see anything down here yet because the angle's too steep. He's gonna shoot at me with his uh, Spitfire. He's just in 24, so he's just in optimal range. So how do you want to split your shots up? You have four of them. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, two against the dozer and one against both those guys. Okay, well he's prone, so you can't see him. Okay, two so against, just two, two and two. two, two. Okay. So the dodge for the dozer, uh, she is a physical 12. She's gonna fail, so you just get straight rolls against her. Uh, and then the one shot from the HMG would be face to face. So do two against the dozer. 12. Plus three, minus three. So yeah, 12s, one hits. Uh, she'll take a damage 14. She has armor of one, plus cover for four, to be 10. Nope, she's unconscious. Right, so face to face against the HMG. He's gonna get plus three, minus three. Uh, you're going to get plus 3, minus 3 as well. So you get 2 on 12. I get 1 on 13. One hit with a 4. Uh, cancels my 1. So I take a hit. Armor 3 for him because he's a vet. Uh, he's in cover for 6. Got to beat him at 8. Does the 10. Uh, he's a veteran, so he won't go to cover. Spending lieutenant order. Yeah. She's going to move up to this corner here. Now that the ceiling is, or the thing is clear. Well, I do have a camo marker here that can see you. It's okay. Um, but she's going to maintain camo. And just not do anything. So she's going to make a shot with her multi-rifle onto him. Um, he will declare his ARO because he would have seen her too to shoot back. So shot to shots. Um, you will be in 31 inches. So I think that's at zero still. I think you're zero up to 32. Three shots on fives. I forgot he has mimetism as well. Actually, that would have affected the cyclone, but didn't end up mattering. Um, and he'll get one shot back at plus three because we know we're within 32 with the HMG. Um, do the dual action one? Double action, sure. Double so... Action. I will shoot you before you, actually you would have maintained contact with the cover the whole time. So I'll be plus three, minus three. So one on 13 for me, and then you get three on fives. I hit with eights. Uh, the two will hit, but it gets canceled by my eights. So you take one hit at a 15. Um, what's your armor? Beat a 10. Does not. Take a wound. She's got one wound. She's okay, dead. she's unconscious. So the last order, uh, gonna support or sorry, gadget to him for enhanced reaction, giving him two bursts and arrow. Uh, it's a little bit better than suppressive fire because it means that he'll keep his plus three to hit these guys. All right, so start of turn, I've got two uh, in my small combat group for orders, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven in the big combat group. We're going to spend a command token to transfer one of these two guys into, let's say him, into this combat group, putting me at eight orders in the main pool. All right, so thing the first, this um, camo token is going to idle. And I believe you can see me with your remote. What would you like to do? You can dodge or you can do nothing. Because if you discover or do anything other than shoot, you're just going to That get... seems like the greediest thing in the whole game now. I know, idling is great. But it lets, you, it lets me basically wait to see what your arrow is. Because it's not going to move, but it's going to wait and see what you're doing. All right, so not dodging, so he doesn't lose his... Uh, actually, you can dodge if you want. It doesn't do anything, because you're not suppressive firing. You're just support wearing. But I don't want to go anywhere. I know, I but, do, but all that means is you'll have a face-to-face -face against whatever's about but to happen. But I have to move. You don't have to move. You can move two inches. You don't have to. Why? All right, so dodging with the remote, and that way you get a face-to-face -face roll against my surprise shot, because this is going to get revealed to be my scout with the Ohotnik. All right, so the surprise shotting, uh, two shots of the Ohotnik. You're in cover. Um, I'm, I'm, at plus, I'm at plus three, minus three, because uh, of your cover and because of um, range. Uh, you've got your physical down to four. Good surprise shot. Fails. My two shots, needing 12s. That's a crit. Um, and that's a damage roll. So the crit's going to go through and put you into disabled. And then make a damage or an armor roll for the shot that hits you against a 15. And one, so that's gonna put you to dead. Flipping a skill in this, uh, sorry, we're in this uh, pool, and we're gonna have this camel marker move up to this crate. So that's gonna be two, and then four, and she'll be right here. So I don't know if your guy over here can see me yet. I think maybe that crate's in the way. Yeah, no, I can't see it. Okay. That's a terrible position. Um, so my second short skill, I'm gonna move, move again. I'm gonna go two, and then four to here. 
I'm gonna put the marker down, see if your uh, your HMG dude can see. I don't think he can yet. I can't like see no. from that angle. Okay, that's one skill. We're gonna flip another one. Sorry, I shot the three flip now because that was for her. Um, and I'm going to move up to this wall for my first short skill. Do you have any arrows? You have two guys there. And I'm currently a marker. This guy will discover. I uh, mean, do you want to dodge? You're probably better off dodging than anything else. All right, so I'm revealing Ushia with her boarding shotgun. Um, and her second short skill is she's going to take a boarding shotgun shot into, or a pair of boarding shotgun shots into the operator. Um, so you're dodging, so you have to roll 12 or less, and I have two shots. So you get it with a six. I have two shots. Um, they're at plus six because I'm within eight inches, and you're in the open. So I have 17 or less on these two dice. Um, this is going to get canceled by your dodge. You're going to take one hit. So it's one hit at damage 13, or so maybe 14. Two, uh, you're going to fail that, and you're going to go back unconscious again. Cool. All right, so I'm going to spend an order, um, and because there's nobody in line of sight, she's actually going to re-camo. Into a token. Another order, and the Ohotnik Scout is going to move her first short skill to here and then up to the wall. To there. I think we might be able to see each other down this thing now. Can you uh, here, put this on the guy? Or put it behind? Yeah, we can definitely see each other now. <laughs> For sure. Um, so that's going to be a... Uh, well, uh, you declare your arrow if you have a reaction. You're currently a, a camo token. Do you want to oh, do anything? I'm not doing anything because it doesn't seem like good to do anything. We're not going to do <laughs> okay. Reveal and shoot. That seems like a horrible idea. All right, so then I'm going to stay where I am. Um, just snuggle up the cover. All right, so I'm going to flip an order here to try to... Uh, actually, she's going to stay where she is. We're going to use this order to move up with the Kazakh, the vet Kazakh. He's going to go four... And then four again, because I don't think there's anybody here that can get arrow. Next order, um, this camel token is going to go four up to here, and then four more up to the wall. Last one, um, we're going to move this marker four inches to here. So again, I don't think, I think that pillar's probably in the way still for any kind of arrows. And then we're going to go two and four over to here. <laughs> <laughs> Scenery spontaneously moving now. Uh, and that's going to be the last of my orders. Um, the final order in this pool, we're going to put this guy right here on Use Suppressive Fire. It's going to go on Suppressive Fire. Pieces of paper I do, there. I do. All right, so there it is. There's bottom of turn two Ariadna. So we're going to go to top of turn, sorry, uh, top of turn two Ariadna, bottom of turn two, which will be Nomad. You're regular this turn because you're an LOL. So first order is going to be for her. She's going to move out. Well, she's turning basically. She's going to discover that thing. Discover shot? Okay, what's her willpower? 14. 14, so uh, you need a, I'm not in contact with cover between you and me, so just my camel modifier, so 11 or less. You get it. Um, so my arrow was gonna be dodge. So you can shoot me. Um, I'm revealed to be Usha, which we already all knew. How can I shoot you? Because you did a discover shot, because it's your active turn. Huh? When you discover in the active turn, you can shoot as well. Huh? So my dodge, I think I'm physical 12. So you get three on 16s, I get one on 13. So 14 and 16 to crit. She's gonna go unconscious unless I crit two. I don't, I fail. So I go unconscious and then straight to dead. Um, I should try to make an armor roll and see if I go straight to dead. So I'm armor one versus 13, need to be to 12. 16, um, actually I'm not gonna count, it's not in the box. Five, I'm unconscious and dead. So crit and then down. Next, irregular. Running away. Moving to conserve BPs. This marker over here idling. Feel retarded. <laughs> uh, he's going to dodge because yeah, and these two are now prone because she's unconscious and he's been prone the whole game. So he's going to dodge. Roll twelve for the veteran Kazakh like HMG. So I have to get a twelve or less. Fourteen, I fail. We're pretty far away. And you've got what your HMG? Yeah. You're within thirty-two. Are you over thirty-two? Thirty-three. Okay, so it's going to be minus uh, six then, minus three for, or sorry, zero for the HMG. I think over 32, and then it's minus three for mimetism and minus three for cover. So fours, actually, is minus nine. I will eat crit. two hits and a crit. Oh, so I'm unconscious. And then I have veteran Kazakhs, so I have no wound incapacitation, which means that I stand there bleeding, basically, instead of going unconscious. And now an armor roll, armor six against damage uh, 15, so I need to be in a nine. 
18, I do. So I, I have many holes in me and I'm leaking a lot of fluids, but uh, I'm no one capacitated. And so there he is bleeding profusely. All right, so having nominated a new lieutenant, that is Nomad Turns. I'm gonna count my orders. I'm gonna have one, because if there's no one capacitation, two for him on the ground, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one in the other pool, which I will use a command point to transfer over. So now everybody's in the main pool. I'm down to two command points and eight orders. First order, this Vekazak, who's very angry, is going to idle <laughs> and find out what this guy over here is going to do. The firing. All right, you're going to shoot me? I'm going to shoot you back. So you get your HMG, I get my HMG as well. So active turn HMG, we know we're at 33 inches, so I'll be at minus three for cover, minus three for range, which means I need sevens on three dice. Or sorry, four dice. Oh, camo. Uh, sorry, yeah, you're right. Uh, I'm minus nine, actually, because you're camoed. Um, so I'm on fours. I'm the exact same thing as you. You get a 19, so that'll fail. I get four on fours. Crit. <laughs> All right, so you'll take a wound. Does he have two? Yeah. All right, he's unconscious. I'm gonna spend a command point and a regular order now to uh, do a coordinated order. And uh, it's actually gonna reveal this guy to be a tank hunter because I think he can't do marker movements as a coordinated move, I think. Might be wrong about that. I'm gonna say it reveals him, but I don't think you can join a uh, an assault group or a, be a be a spearhead leader without revealing yourself. So he's gonna be in the spearhead leader, um, and they're going to make a move. So first short skill two two to here, and he's gonna go two and two, and the corner to here. There's no arrows generated, and they're gonna go again two and two up to there, and he'll go four as well. Right behind him. So my last command point, another order. I'm just going to do it again because um, I need to get these both these guys up the table. So four is my first one up to here. Oops. And then four again and behind this guy. And again, no arrows. So we're going to go four. I'm well, not quite four, but just come up to here. And then he's going to tuck in behind him. As their second short move, because I'm pretty sure she's got yeah, you can see a that, bead yeah. around that corner, so I'm just gonna hold there for just right now. I'm spend an order, and she's gonna climb, so she can climb her first movement skill with no damage roll, which is four inches. So she's gonna go down to here, and that's a long skill. I spend another order, and she's gonna move four inches up to here. Oops. See, I'm <laughs> still outside his zone of control. Uh, we're gonna move again four inches up to here. All right, flip another order. She is going to move four inches up to this wall right here. Like so. Now I'm inside your zone of control, which means even though you're not facing me, you can still dodge at minus three. Um, and that'll also count as you turning around if you'd like. Yeah, I'll dodge, I guess. Okay. I was dodging. Yep. <laughs> Morty, are needing a four. Uh, he's going to fail. She needs something low, too. Uh, that might actually get it. No, she needs, she needs a nine. She needs a nine? Or so you, may, you pass with an eight. She's an eight. She's an eight, she's an 11, so you crit. Okay, so I have two shots, one on him, one on her, both with pistols. Um, I need 15s for each. So on him with a 15, that's gonna hit. He failed his dodge roll. Uh, her on a 15, 17 is gonna fail. So she dodges, so she gets to move two inches. And then Moriarty will take a damage 11 hit. All right, damage 11. 17, he's gonna shred it. And he can turn around to face for free because he survived. I'm going to spend another order, and the Vet Kazak is going to start moving on up. Moving on up to the side, to the side. He's going to go, oops, he's going to go four up to here. And again, now these guys aren't facing me. So I can move four freely again up to here. My last order with him, uh, he is going to go on to Suppressive Fire. All right, last turn of the game, bottom of three, and we're going to have... Uh, ye old um, oh, two orders. Bad. He's unconscious, yeah. I'm lost in the tenant again. Okay, so both these guys being a race. All right, so uh, first short skill, you're gonna move. And then we're light flamethrower. Light flamethrower, all right. So, well, moving your first short skill, I don't know you're gonna light flamethrower. She's gonna shoot twice with pistols, so if I don't die, maybe I'll kill you. Um, he gets to do something as well, because he's servants, so he can move as soon as she moves. All right, um, I don't think that'll trigger my suppressive fire. Uh, his suppressive fire would have been triggered when she moved, so he's going to shoot you, I think, at the max of his range, um, and she's going to shoot as well. So you're light flamethrowing, and I'm shooting. All right, so the three normal rolls from the Vet Kazak, minus three, so he needs tens because it's suppressive fire. Uh, all fail. Well, way to go. 
Um, and then two pistol shots in the open at close range, plus three, so I need 15s or less. A seven and a 10, so two armor 11 rolls, and then you light flame throw me. Uh, the seven's gonna fail, so you'll be unconscious. And then light flamethrower is, I think, a damage of 13. So I'm armor one, two, three because of cover. Sorry, four because of cover, so I have to beat a nine. I do the 10. Yeah, Innovator's just gonna stick out and burn the order. All yeah. right, so there we go. That's game, let's count it. All right, so the end of it, objective points. Um, nomads have one for having um, killed between 75 and 150 points of my army. Uh, and they also have one for their uh, doctoring, which was their minor objective, their classified objective. I didn't get any of my classifieds, but I did manage to kill more than 250. Um, and I also have between 151 and 250 surviving, so that puts me at five. So there it is, end O game for N3. Uh, we'll have a quick chat about um, what we think about the N3 rules and uh, Adam's sort of like experience learning the change in the game. All right, so there we go. That was our 300 point game, your first game of N3. Kind of went rough on turn one, Infinity style, with the idling and stuff like that. The idling was something, too, you hadn't been used to. I'm saucy. <laughs> I'm saucy. I have sand in parts that shouldn't have sand in them. I'll get you some wipes. And I need some wipes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, definitely, like just like any other game, though, this one has like the steepest learning curve, I think, for when addition changes, because, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that can feel really overpowered. Like, how like you, idling. Tag blown away. Yeah, straight like idling, up, yeah. Idling. Just straight up pointing at your AR in the beginning. It's a big thing with um, camel markers too, and you've used it reactively later on in your like second turn when your uh, dude over there with the HMG blasted my vet Kazak and almost killed him. But it's it lets, lets the camel marker know what's gonna happen. And really, you only have one option when the guy idles. Because you know his next thing's probably going to be a spread shot. Is you just what, dodge. But it did. The, but that what that what makes only it, having one option. But that's what makes bad. it kind of bad. Because yeah. it's like I spend my order. I activate my guy. I idle. <laughs> what do you do? You dodge. That's oh, right. Mm -hmm, okay. I blast you. <laughs> well, you only have really one choice, <laughs> and you've only really got one choice. You have to almost dodge. Because like. If he doesn't shoot you, then at least you get some free movement, you get out of the way. And the discover almost is pointless, because if he does shoot you, well, you've wasted that order, that ARO, basically discovering. Yeah. So we're going to play another game. I'm going to unpack my pano, a little less camo of a list, and do some strip head-to-head. -head. I'm just going to dodge. It's going to dodge all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll try playing Supremacy. Supremacy I'm going to try to dodge my way across the board and see what happens. Supremacy is um, a lot like this game, but with uh, control zones, trying to dominate parts of the board. And we'll uh, be hacking some consoles, too, which is good for your hacker. So we'll play some Supremacy uh, in our next game, and we'll see you for that one. Till then, have a game. Saucy. Real saucy. <laughs> so saucy. <laughs>